Today on the channel, we head to the Silver Age with the DC Digital McFarlane Toys, the Atom. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another DC McFarlane Toys DC Digital unboxing and review and today from the Silver Age we got the Atom but for all your Atom needs and a whole lot more make sure you have DJC collectibles use discount code Adolf DJC to save 8% off your entire order gotta get a deal out there we know how that goes and we know how this review is gonna go we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. Interesting, this digital line. Some hits, some misses, like all the Todd McFarlane lines. Yes, it's true, Todd. Hits and misses. I'm not going to tell you again. Uh, but the Atom is a pretty cool one, especially the Silver Age version. I think the last Atom figure we got was either Page Punchers or was it the Black Atom movie? Either way, we've had the Atom before, but we've never had him like this. All Silver Aged out, for sure. But we got the Atom, the Atom times two right there. McFarlane Digital, of course. Big bubble window. Love the blue background there. Of course, these are usually found back in the NECA section, not the traditional toy aisle for those keeping track at home. 22 points of articulation. And Mark Summers, yes, I'll get to it. 14 and up on this one. So you know what to do from there. I love the inclusion of the mini Adam figure here. I think that's a nice little touch. Gonna be interested to see how that looks. Is that basically like one of those mini page punchers? I guess it's a little bigger than one of those. DC Silver Age, the Atom, of course. QR code, if that is your thing over here. Little glamour shot on the back. Looking good, though, in the blue and red attack there is the old Atom here. And he's going to grow. He's going to shrink. He's going to do whatever he needs to do to get by, of course. See you later. Goodbye. We get two cards here. Can I pull this out? Let's see. There it is. See you later. Oh, right off the screen. Dead eye off the screen right there. And can we get this off? Oh, yes. Yeah. See you later. Goodbye. No rookies here. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. DC Digital Stand. Seen it before. We'll see it again. Off to the side there. Of course, you get this digital card here. It's like a lottery scratch-off ticket. You put your code into the site. They send you coupons, and you can get like half off McFarland figures sometimes. So worth doing. Obviously, they're going to track you, but is it worth to be tracked to save 30 bucks? Now you got to answer yourself that question there. We do get the Adam card right here. Real name, Ray Palmer. Uh, Ray Palmer is a science liaison to Shade and a hero in his own right as the Adam. He is also the creator of the Ant Farm, the alien Ant Farm, like a smooth criminal is what he is, a pioneer in miniaturization technology and a recent welcome addition to the Justice League of America. So truly like a, a young Ant-Man, I guess, but I think he probably came before Ant-Man, if I'm not mistaken. But there he is in the plastic prison times two, of course, but also locked down times two. Of course, twist ties uh, throughout on Todd McFarlane's toys. And as we have heard in 2026 or 2025, get my years mixed up. I'm I'm looking ahead. I'm making plans for 26. Uh, 2025, he is going to double up the twist ties. Doubling up the twist ties. He says, I don't care what people think about plastic. I'm doubling them up. I love twist ties. Uh, and Todd, you do collect twist ties. And we got the bin over here, saving all my twist ties in uh, 2024. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fill out that pool or not. But man, we're going to try. We're going to try to Scrooge McDuck swim through it. It's going to be an amazing thing. Uh, stay tuned to that on the channel, that's for sure. I'm going to get these hands out. That Cambodian tape. Very underrated tape. Move over, Scotch. We got Cambodian tape. See you later. Goodbye. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to these hands. We got a fist and a trigger finger hand out of the package. We got the splayed out hand. Seen this before with Batman and numerous others. And then we got the what you gonna do, brother hand. What you gonna do when the Atom runs wild on you? So we got that going on there. So choose your own hand adventure, as we usually say. But very intriguing. We get this little Atom figure. No articulation on this bad boy here, unfortunately, but it is a miniaturized version of this. Looks almost like something you get in like a Burger King Kids Club meal back in the day. Who knows? He does look like he fits on a stand, though. Oh, look at that. He fits on a McFarlane stand, if that is your thing. So that kind of works out pretty nice. So if you have an extra stand, you can use one for him if you needed to. So 
all in all is what it is. It's just a miniaturized hard plastic version of this guy. But I, it's the thought that counts, Todd McFarland. It's the thought that counts, and I do appreciate that. Do appreciate the Adam here, but man, not feeling totally wild here. Just basically your plain buck is what they call it. I hate the term buck. Oh, they can use that bucky cap mold. I, I just hate that kind of stuff. But they got that going on right here. You got the blue and red attack going on throughout. Looking very interesting. Looking very uh, Silver Age. How about that? Got the mask over the top. Got the little Adam logo in the forehead there. Nice face here. It's stoic, but he looks like a, an inviting guy. It looks like a guy you could talk to. You just put your hand out and say, hey, Ray, nice to meet you. Do I call you Ray? Do I call you the Adam? How about I call you friend? That's what you would say to him there. Uh, but he does look nice. Looks personable. I would say that. Arms go all the way around for us here. You got the butterfly shoulders. Hate those little rings. Sometimes they get a little bit annoying like in this one here. You do get a bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. How about that? Hands back and forth side to side. Of course, replaceable. Hula hoop looking really good, plus traditional waist. Got a little bit of that McFarlane diaper going on, but you got those Adam splits. You can split an Adam with those legs is what I've been told. Somebody fact check that if you want to. Look at that, like a gymnast. He's reaching up high. He's reaching up high with those feet. Look at me. I can put my feet way up high. And then he goes down, double jointed knees, of course, pins throughout. Uh, then you get the ankles up and down, side to side, back and forth, plus the McFarlane toe articulation. You've got to have that. Bend those toes, wiggle those toes, do those splits. You're ready for the Atom to take flight here. But a very plain Jane one, but very cool if you're building out a Silver Age uh, display for your McFarlands. I got to work on my McFarland displays. I got everything kind of in boxes ready to go. I just need to figure out what shelf and what's the setup I need to do. And that's the hardest part, if you ask me. Uh, I always struggle trying, okay, do I want them on this shelf? And then I'll put them there. I'm like, eh, I need to move them over here. And I do that all the time. But I do need to get my Silver Age, my Justice League shelves, all that stuff going. Maybe uh, sooner than later. We'll see what ends up happening there. But the Atom, looking pretty good. Part of the digital line. Like the inclusion of the accessory. A pretty fun one, all things considered. But what have you considered? Are you considering buying this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. we got videos every single day. And then some. We'll get even more content for you over on Patreon. The best way to support this channel. Plus all the bonus videos. Both YouTube channels. Get early access over there, among many other things. Appreciate the support on Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for the Adam Times 2 and Todd and, of course, Mark Summers, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.